Hey, it's Christian. Uh, today we're going to be creating an ellipse using the trammel method. Now on screen you can see the trammel mechanism itself being represented by the line segment FDC uh, connected to point B which rotates around in a circle. Now the reason this uh, method works is because of F which will be plotting the elliptical shape uh, is under the constraints of the points D and C, D moving, being only allowed to move along the major axis going back and forth, and point C only moving along the minor axis going up and down. And if they were to come off these axes, the method itself wouldn't work at all. So what I'll do now is I'll play the animation so you can see it. So as you can see, F is moving on around creating the elliptical shape under these constraints. So the main thing to take away for the trammel method is that to create it you must have uh, the point F at some random point on the page but it must be connected from F to D or to A I should say and then again created up to J to form the trammel and then from there it just has to keep the point C and D can only move along the minor and D can only move along the major to form the elliptical shape because without these constraints the elliptical shape won't be formed by F.